Hello everybody and welcome to the Starhammer 40k progress report here. Uh, today I've been focusing on adding multiple Tau stuff to the game. So to my left you can see two new armor sets from the Tau and uh, one updated armor set. Uh, I have added the one to the immediate right here is the Ethereal Guard uniform and the one in the middle is the Ethereal uniform itself. And the ethereal uniform has like three bits of flowiness to it. It has a cape, it has a, a robe, it has a, a kind of the uh, skirt there. So it's it's very dynamic if you're running around with it, which I quite like. And uh, uh, with these as well, I have added in uh, just a simple cosmetic item to remove the the hair on top of your head there. Not the hair, but the, the head there. So that shouldn't conflict if you have any other mods that do that. I think I named it something unique enough. But let me know if there are any issues with that when the release comes out next week. Otherwise, with the Tau related stuff here, I have added in pulse carbines, randomly generated pulse carbines into the game. Uh, so they're a little bit shorter than the pulse rifle, which should help out with some close range combat. They also launch two bullets instead of one, so uh, I, th I think they'll be quite viable. I've also rebalanced the pulse rifle itself. I've given it a little bit more damage here. So when that update gets released, uh, make sure to let me know if it's if y if you think. If you think either the current one's too underpowered or too overpowered, whether it's just right, and uh, let me know if the new one is too overpowered. Uh, I think that the pulse rifle right now uh, takes a lot of energy. It takes like 35 to 45, I think it was, and uh, it just doesn't do a lot of damage even at the higher levels. So I, I wanted to kind of make it sort of a more precise, kind of like a precise rocket launcher maybe, if you get my drift. So hopefully that it'll kind of accomplish that role. Otherwise, to the mannequin on the left here, I have updated the Dark Angel's uh, back piece as well. So it has a cool golden sword on it. And uh, I, I, by the time that this update goes live, I would hope to add maybe uh, randomly generated honor blades or some other randomly generated melee weapons, depending on how much time I have next week. And um, I will be looking towards perhaps adding some some sort of uh, NPC drones as well. I'll have to I'll have to look into that a little bit more. You know, you know the problem with the Tau is that they they don't have much infantry. They're not an infantry focused civilization, so uh, uh, that means not a lot of cosmetic armor, unfortunately. And uh, that's uh, that's pretty much all I have on my end right here uh, i will be releasing uh even more uh, the recording of an even more obscure game uh called scion boy so that should be that should be uh, a link to that should be at the end of the video here did you know that they removed annotations from videos they don't let you put in annotations into videos anymore shrug shrug but anyways uh, thanks for checking into the progress report here. This update will be going live next week. And uh, make sure you check out uh, the uh, uh, OS 9 video that I'm publishing as well. And uh, if you do have any suggestions as far as what Tau stuff to add, I'm going to, I'm going to be looking towards Crute and Vespid kind of stuff. But if you, have, if you have any other suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comments below or on the Steam profile page. Uh, thanks for checking in, folks, and uh, have a good one.